there is a really, really high possibility that robots will be cleaning your hair. You will stroke the surface of your dress and it will turn from red to green to print. Once we have computational fibres or we have digital skins, it's anyone's guess. Technology for wearable applications. What that means practically is you've got a you've got a company that's made up of hybrid engineers who are also designers, and then you have a, a team of fashion designers who can work with technology. In the middle, we have this kind of grey space. We're a company that that sits right in the middle of those two worlds. X's and zeros is, is um, I suppose, similar analogous to ones, ones and zeros, so the ones and zeros are binary, and it also means hug and kiss. And the other reason was exo from exoskeletal, so we sort of imagined if you x-rayed some of our early garments, they passed through an x-ray, you'd be able to see the interior workings, the structure of this body of parts. Studio XO has been a bit of a long time coming for me, so I spent 15 years incubating a lot of these ideas within the lab at Philips, and it was through that time I sort of kind of borrowed away ideas about what Studio XO might be. In a more conceptual work, like for example digital skins, I wanted to use that as a, as a way to comment on when things like, like graphene matures or the, the, the fact that they're incubating skins in petri dishes, you know, in the labs in Boston and Cambridge, what, what that might mean for fashion and for the body. I think one of the biggest things that we're excited about is the, um, the possibility of getting out, out our technology and our pieces out to a much wider audience than we have so far. When we got called by the various musical artists, so Lady Gaga called for the blushing dress and the Black Eyed Peas kind of looked us up via Philips to design interactive clothing for them, that Studio XO was really born. And then we have this belief that you know by, by 2020 we'll have uh, technology in every shirt and skirt. You know, it's kind of, um, it's our saying. If robotics were going to crawl all over the skin and start to knit and almost shit your clothes by, by eating the dirt of the environment, you know, what does that mean ethically? And what does that mean, you know, in terms of the perception of those technologies, our relationship to them when they get hacked and embedded in, in everyday culture? <laughs>